again, the door is open. Oh, my beautiful daughter. Good afternoon, Mrs. Richard. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, the doctor said I could go now. Yes. He actually told me over the phone. I got off the phone with him not too long ago. He said, you're, you're okay. Yes, I am. Aside the body weakness, I'm okay. You'll be fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to resume work. Mm -hmm. I've missed this place. Ah, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. You will not resume till another one week. Why? You need to recover very well. What? Moreover, you're that daughter I never had. But the doctor said that I am fine now and fit to resume work. He said so. But I am the owner of the company. And I've told you that you will not come back till another week. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Bridger. I have to be on my way now. It's fine. Try and come over to the house in the evening. I sure will. Bye, Mrs. Richard. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I'm sorry, Mrs. Rachel. I think I should bring the seat to you. No, it's fine. It's okay. My son. I lost his twin sister to leukemia some 10 years back. Oh my God. I am so sorry, Mrs. Rachel. I think no. I know. I don't talk about him. He's all I have. And I'm ready to do anything to make him happy. He studies in the US, but uh, will soon be coming back. I'll be glad to meet him. You will. I'm um, okay, Ma. Um, I'll be in the kitchen when I'm done. Come here and fix the room. Thank you, ma. Uh, Bernice. Yes, ma. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for me. You see, amongst all the other staff at the office, the only one who is very dear to me. I am very grateful. Thank you. I should be the one saying thank you to you for everything that you're doing for me. From the time I was doing my internship till now. Thank you, Ma. I'll be in the kitchen.
Your father builds this legacy, hoping that you will come back someday and wear the crown. He never had me in mind. Patrick, you need to come back. Come back and take over this campaign. I know. But you still need to come back home. I have to retire. What? Oh, I didn't tell you. There's something I kept for you, and I know that you will love it. For real? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, son, don't worry, just come. Ah, I'm hungry, so famished. I need to eat now. But you need to call me back, will you? All right. Call me back, Lisa. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Wow. This is delicious. <laughs> it keeps getting better and better. I don't think I have this recipe. No, you don't. This is actually one of my mental stimulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. Mm. I'm sorry I did not come down on time to eat. I was actually on the phone with my son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems he wants to settle in the US. That is his plan. But of course, he knows the kind of mother he has. He has to come back home. Why? I mean, everybody's looking for an opportunity to leave this country. Everybody wants to jabba, including myself. I will jabba one day. What is jabba? Okay, sorry. It means leave the country, <laughs> run away, relocate, you know? That was before. Everything keeps getting better and better now. Well, me, yeah, I will still jabba if I get an opportunity. Well, his father has a company here and um, I want him to come back to run it. I don't know where you're jabbing into, but make sure you're here to help him. I'm not promising you that, because me, I still want to jab us someday. I don't know when, but I have to jab us. <laughs> Hi, babes. First of all, Bernice, why are you not taking your calls? Oh, I'm sorry, my love. I was actually making something for my godmother. Your godmother's place again? What is all this? You and I had a date, but you had to abandon it just to be at your godmother's place? You must be very stupid. Babe, I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. Get out of my phone because you're very stupid. Babe. But this hasn't got into a very stupid. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I'll see you. Okay. Oh, by the way, my son sent his regards. Your son? Yes. He knows me. <laughs> you believe he doesn't know you after everything I've been telling him about you? You tell him something about me? <laughs> Have a nice day, Bennis. Bye, Mrs. Richard. Thank you. Are you 
almost won me over right now. Listen, 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 Dennis. Listen properly. This is the last time I'm so gonna condone this nonsense of yours. You and I had an appointment for over four hours. You were nowhere to be found. Only for me to find out you were in your so godmother's place doing what exactly? Stanley, why do you like to make trouble out of everything? There she goes again. I knew you were going to say that, actually. I just got discharged this morning. Excuse me. Was I not supposed to come here to say thank you to the woman who has been saving me for the past four years? Mm. I fell sick at your place. What did you do? You took me to the hospital and you abandoned me there. So you're trying to tell me that your so-called godmother is more important than I am? That's not what I am saying, babe. So what are you saying? I am sorry. I sincerely forgot that we have the date. I am sorry. Oh, I see, that's because I'm not important. But anyways, I need to let you know something. I think we're just going to put an end to this whole thing. It can't continue like this for years. Baby, excuse me, please. Excuse you what? You want to get in my car? No way. Come on, you can't get in my car. Damn. Just open this car and let me no. go, please. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Please, please. Thank you. Be nice. Thank you. You're not serious. Hey, listen. Serious. I told you, step out. Stella, are you serious? Are you open this door? You're going to leave me out here. I noticed you're not yourself. I even came into your office, but you did not notice me. What's going on? Well, see me in my office. So he is also a bully? I love Stanley with everything that I have. But he never seems to see this. Could you believe that I fell ill at his house? And the best he could do is to take me to the hospital and dump me there. Wait, 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 wait. You mean you fell ill in his house? But I thought you told I'm me. I'm sorry, Mrs. Preacher. I lied. And you know what you would think of me, that I love to walk, to be with him. What does he do for a living? Don't slouch. He's a driver. A driver? Yes. But he actually has a master's degree in civil engineering. So, what is he doing plying the roads as a commercial driver? Anyway, that is by the way. What he is doing right now does not matter. As long as he has good plans for both of you. Already he has made a bad impression by taking a seat without being asked to. Good day, Mr. Stanley Chris. Well, my name is Mrs. Oh, Rick. please. Ben has already told me so much about you. I hold you up already. Really? Well, indulge me. I have this culture of introducing myself to People I meet for the first time. Especially people who just walk into my living room, sit without even being asked to. I still wait for me to greet them. That, come on, man, this is the first century. Murder of things don't matter no more. But this is my house. Um, man, do you mind telling me why you told Benis to invite me over? Well, I learned that both of you have been having a series of um, problems lately. Oh, that you were rightly informed, ma'am. Can I hear your own side of the story? The message, Because I think whatever she told you is true. I insist I would like to hear your own side of the divide. Why? Why? Because I'm concerned about my daughter and her relationship. Did I hear you say daughter? Because the last time I recall, she's just your employee, not your daughter. 
she may be my employee, but I love her just like my daughter. And I want her to be happy all the time. So do you mind if I ask why one more time? Listen, chap, enough. I have received a series of complaints about how you maltreat her and making her feel so unloved. In your interest, this is from it. No, no, this is, this is becoming aggressive. You are actually becoming aggressive. And I think I've overstayed my welcome. So do you mind going straight to the point? I am done. Okay. Have a nice day, man. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Listen, how dare you go discussing our matters concerning our relationship to that woman? Mrs. Rachel is no freaking woman. She's just like a mother to me. How come she has the perception that I don't even care about you? I'm sorry. She shouldn't have said that to you. But everything she said was the truth. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, tell me. You're taking sides with her now, yeah? Oh, on whose side am I supposed of to be on? Of course, my side. Your side? Oh, yes. Oh, really? When every time we run into a scrabble, all you do is talk about breakup. Oh, there she goes again. Could you just man up and let us get this thing right for once, Stanley? Man up. <laughs> yes, man up. Look at, look at you, man up. Really? Stanley, we can't keep fighting. Let's stop this quarreling and let's try to make things work, please. Wait, the last time I checked, I said, I am done. Like, it's over. Read my lip. It's over. I knew you were going to say this. Whatever. You were so, so predictable. That man is really predictable. How do you mean, Mrs. Rachel? I knew he was going to break up with you after our conversation. Why would you anticipate my move? It's not any way in your peril. Unteachable people are never corrected. Any man who talks down on you and insults your mother shouldn't be your husband. He insulted you. Yes, he did. Well, that's fine. I have greater plans for you. Say that again. As a matter of fact, courtesy of the new president, barely two years in office, he's turned this country to paradise on earth. I think he's really trying. Oh, you can say more than trying. I mean, there's been constant power supply since his arrival in office. And that's a lie. You calling me a liar, Moka? Come on, bro. I'll just play with you. <laughs> just messing with you, too. <laughs> oh, great. By the way, I'm Patrick. Patrick Chukomeka. Patrick Chukomeka. You can call me Stanley Festus. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you too. So how long are you going to be staying for? I'm here for the whole time. Oh, oh, oh. I would have said you were actually foolish or something if it was back then. But now, you could welcome yourself straight to Borderland. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, what do you think about the ladies? How long have you been away for? Because I was thinking maybe I could get you some fine, beautiful girls. No, Just I call me. I'll do I, that for you. I don't play like that. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, bro. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Man. Sir, are you sure this is the house? Of course, yes. This is my mother's house. Okay, okay sir. Let me bring down your luggage, yeah? Hey, 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 hey. What you mean? No, bro. You have to drive inside. I've got lots of stuff in your trunk. Okay, so I should drive inside, yeah? Of course, yes. You have to go inside. So I should honk? Of course, yes. Honk. They open the gate. I know my mother can't wait to see me, man.
Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> mom. Welcome back, son. Thank you so much. Oh. You look so good, Mom. Thank you. You hey. too. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you too, Mom. I missed you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How was that week? I'm happy. Hey. So glad to see you. Glad to see you too, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Terminates here. I'm sorry, actually, my contract terminates here. In case you need my services. He will never need your services again. You can go. What's going on, Mom? I'll tell you, sir. Have a good day, sir. Who's this? Don't tell me you are forgotten so soon. All right, um, let me guess. Your staff, most efficient and um, most hardworking, I guess. That's her, Dennis. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. My pleasure. <sighs> yeah. Come close <laughs> and greet properly. <laughs> What's that smell? I don't know. I, I, I perceive good food. Oh. Everything organized by her. Actually, no. <laughs> Such a good cook. Honestly, she made your favorite rice, stew, and oi moi. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, how in God's name does she know my favorite? I got you covered, son. Really? Mm hmm. Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I can't wait to you. I know, right? Let's go. <laughs> so, Mom, mm -hmm. does your domestic staff slash office worker, what about her? Please, whenever you want to talk about her, you need to be more Sivo, okay? Well, the headline is, she's a good chef. Wow, I knew this would work. I don't understand. You knew what would work. <laughs> You're beginning to like her already. <coughs> oh, no, but you can uh, take some water. Um, Mom, I think I'll stop right here, okay? What is the truth? Because I was only complimenting her culinary proclivity, all right? Whatever that means, I think she's a good one for you. You should look her way. And what do you mean, look her way, Mom? You know, I love you so much, son. And um, I... <laughs> mom, Mom, Mom. You know, whenever you start to sound this way, something is up. So what's up? What's going on? You know your mother is always up to something great for you. Can we talk about something else, please? Something else like what? Something else like why you had to be so hostile to the taxi driver outside. That commercial driver? Yes, the commercial driver. Remember I told you Bernice was in a very painful relationship? Um, I remember that gossip. That was the man. That was the guy? Oh, damn. <laughs> now I see why you were so hostile to him. 
I think he deserves more. Thank you. Oh, he's a very bad guy. Hello, Mark. I'm sure you will be wondering why I've not been to the office lately. My son came back. He will take over the affairs of the company as the new general manager. That being said, I'll be at the office by Monday to do an official handover. All right, thank you. I see you like the food. This food is so tasty, Mom. You made this, right? No. Oh, come on. I know your recipe. We dad found it. You think you still do? Of course, Mom. You know, back in Detroit, mm. I threw some kitchen stones. Mm. Yeah. When my friends come around. What do they always do? Do they like it? They always are inspired, Mom. They throw a few jobs at me and then I tell them it's my mom's old kitchen recipe passed on to me. Jabs? Like they didn't like it? No! They loved it. Oh. You know, sometimes they eat and forget their properties in my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, Venice came around today. She made this? Yes. I knew it. Mom, apart from the fact that she's a good chef, she's also a very hardworking lady. I told you. I watch her sometimes. She's such a committed hard worker and also pays attention to the least detail. Wow. <laughs> Someone is beginning to look her way. No way, mom. You're the only one staring that direction. Hmm. You know, I love your mom. She was already keeping the ground wet for you. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I mean, how can I just show up and the next minute my mom is already cooking up a wife for me? She loves you and she wants the best for her son. <laughs> the truth is, my mom and I share a very strong bond, no doubt. While I was about leaving Detroit, she called me and she told me that she had a surprise for me. Right that moment, I knew exactly what she was talking about. You know, I've seen that girl, but well, she's not bad at all. As a matter of fact, I used to crush on her. Really? Yes. Trust me, she's not my spec. She's not my kind of girl, and you know that. Yes, I know your kind of girl. You like them rascal, mm -hmm. and always in the club kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what they like, bro. <laughs> not this kind of girl that would always want to please me. No. I mean, do my laundries, clean the house, make food all the time. That's a, that's a good spec anyway. No doubt about that. But I don't want that. You know the kind of things I want for myself. I want my girl crazy. Huh? Tall, light-skinned, not the domestic stuff from my mother. <laughs> Why would you call her that? She's that and even more. I mean, I can't imagine waking up every day to that kind of girl. I will kill myself, trust me. Let me drop you off, okay? Okay. I hope you... you got back. Yeah, I'm back. Please tell me. I'm sorry about that. We'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Oh. <laughs> So what's up? What have you been up to? Business. Missing you. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you married now? No. 
You're not married? No, I'm not. Wow, that's um, good to know. Well, I'm back to the country for good and um, I'm glad I just um, met you, you know? Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we could um, kick off from where we stopped the last time. What do you think? I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> That's a fake love, right? Uh -uh, uh -uh, Is that uh -uh. the real one? Mm, the real one. <laughs> the real one, huh? What's your problem? Man, this girl is hot. This girl is fire. Damn! Okay, let me tell you something. Sydney is not that naive girl you used to know. Come on, this girl dying and wine with the politician in this country. So fuck what, bro? Tell me. I was there before them. Besides, I'm back now, so they should all back off. <laughs> fuck! Sorry, sir. Again? I'm sorry, sir. I'm... You're here quite early. Did you sleep here? Not really, sir. I usually come here every Saturday to help Mama. It's Saturday already? Yes, sir. So you come here every Saturday to do this? And you decided to start with my room? Not really, sir. I've been here for some hours now. I helped Mama make some food and then fix the house. It's just this place. Although she said you don't like people cleaning the room. I don't like people cleaning my room. Thanks, anyways. You're welcome, sir. Patrick. Um, I'll just... I'll be going now. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Shut the door behind you. Sir. No. You did not even ask how you woke up to a clean and ugly room. And how am I supposed to ask? When I woke up next to the one who made it clean and orderly. You did? Of course, yes, I did. <laughs> you know you've not said anything concerning what we discussed the other day. Mom, can you please stop being dramatic? I thought we've gone past that conversation. Okay. Remind me of what we discussed. Mom, please stop being dramatic. I made it clear to you that she's not my kind of girl. Who told us? What? Oh, please excuse me. Mom. Yes? What is it? Really? Is this what the fight, Mom? We're supposed to go somewhere together. I'm not going anywhere with you anymore. Mom, we need to talk things out. Okay? Is this why you wanted me to come back? No. But this is the right choice for you. And it will make me happy. Mom, I don't think this is going to work. Alright? I have someone I love already. And I want to marry. Fine. Go ahead and marry them. Marry whoever you want to marry. But do not bring them home.
my mother has never raised a voice at my late sister and I. She was literally having a confrontation with me for the very first time in my entire life. Well, on a second, I There think... is no room for considerations. All right? Come on, allow me land. Let me finish, okay? I know you want to take my mother's side. Sydney and I have been together for a very long time. You know she's my kind of woman. And she's the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Not that Benny's girl. Come on. Okay, just allow me to finish. Okay, just hear me out, okay? I swear to God I'm going to be extremely erratic with you if you take my mother's side. Okay, fine. I have an idea. Well, needless to start reminding you of what your mom has done for you. She has done everything a mother could do just to make you happy. Not minding when you lost your sister. Come on, if this is what she wants, then you can do it, okay? So what happens to my own happiness? See, you can still do this to make your mom happy. And you can still do your stuff with Sydney or whatever you're doing something with. With that, you won't cause enmity with your mom or any other person. Come on, you can do this, man. You can. I'm sick of that of that shit, man. You can, you can do this, man. Believe me, I'm sick of that of that shit. You can do this. What are you doing here, Bernice? You're not taking your calls. What do you mean I'm not taking my calls? I'm coming to see you. I, I never remember inviting you over to my place. Can we at least talk? Talk about what exactly? How does, how does Stanley? Oh, there she goes again. Please. As a matter of fact, I think we need to go for a break. We need some time apart. No, please, now just listen to me. Let, let's just talk, please. I can't. I don't please. Have that time. To me. How long more do I have? Mrs. Rachel, I'll have to tell you to relax. It's not as bad as you fear. You just need to hurry up your surgery, and I know you'll be very fine. You think I'll make it? A hundred percent. We just need to expedite things so your surgery can happen as fast as possible to avoid more complications. Just relax. What? How come my mother never mentioned this to me? What's her chances of survival? She's going to be fine, Patrick. Dr. Annabelle, I need you to be truthful to me right now, please. Well, at this stage, we would be looking at a 50-50 chances. 50-50? What? Take it easy. I'm very optimistic that your mother will be fine. We just have to fly her in as soon as possible for the surgery. I can't believe my mom could be going through a thing like this and didn't bother to tell me. She didn't think she should bother you with it. We just discussed about the surgery and she agreed to go through with it. She should have at least told me. Oh, relax, Patrick. Your mother is not going to die. Amen. I don't understand. What are you saying? Wasn't this the same thing you did when you traveled overseas? And now you, you are doing the same thing again. Baby, it's not. Listen, my mother is dying. I have to do this to make her happy. Marrying Ben is right now is the only thing that will give my mother joy. I just have to do it. And what am I supposed to do while all this is happening? 
What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to post my life like a monument? Am I supposed to always post my life for you? No, no, Sydney, no. You don't have to post your life for me. But the truth is, I love you. It's you I want to spend the rest of my life with. But right now, we just need more time. Please. This is rubbish, this is bullshit. No, I can't take this. I can't. I am nonsense. I'm not going to take it. I will not do it. Sit, sit. I'm happy to see you this way today. My son made me happy. Oh, really? He got you a gift. Yes, finally I agreed. On. Yes, finally I agreed to get married to you. <sighs> this is what I ever wanted. Both of you should make it happen. What's going on? Did you put Mama up to this? No. Mama put me up to this. And daughter will pretend you do not know what's going on. I don't understand. I am still trying to process the whole thing. Process what exactly? I know you talked Mama into doing this. Excuse you. Yes, I know. I see the way you look at me these days. And the things you do. You cook for me. You do my laundry. You clean my room. Well, I'll tell you this. All of that doctored this moment. Patrick, that woman in there means the world to me. And I would do just about anything to see her happy. Same here. As we both know, I'm not in support of this, but I just have to pretend. Same here. Patrick. What? Is this what you even want? Does it matter what I want? What's important right now is what Mama wants. So please excuse me. Listen up, Julius. I don't want a very big house. Okay? At least something portable and comfortable would be good for my wife and I. Sorry. Hey, Mom. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. I overheard you talking to someone on the phone about a house. Are you planning on living here? Oh. <sighs> Mom, Bernice and I have been here for a while now. I think it's time for us to give you space. Yeah, it's too big for me. I don't need any space. I want you people to stay by me. That's all right, Mom. We'll have it your way. Meanwhile, um, your visa will be ready in the next four days. I guess you're excited about this. Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. What's this about you not letting me come to your house? I don't want a married man in my house. Why are you talking like this? We had an agreement before this. No, you imposed your agreement on me. You said after the wedding. The wedding is done and I'm the one still being picked up on the roadside. Well, listen up, babe. My mom will be traveling for a surgery very soon. When she leaves, I'll let you know so you can move in. We both know that your mom will kick me out the moment she gets back. Oh, come on. My mom can never kick you out. You're the one I want. Let me know when she leaves for surgery. All right, I'll let you know. I'm just coming from the airport. My husband and I. My sister. I miss my mother-in-law already. 
But this house can never be the same without her. Yes. The doctor said three to four weeks max and she'll be back. I just pray that everything goes successfully and she comes back here in life. Yes, healthy and happy. Yes. <laughs> you know that woman is my life. I miss her already. Amen, amen. We just, let's just keep praying. Thank you so much for calling. All right, babes, I love you. Where are you coming from? Drunk again. Oh, Baba. I don't want to hang out with my friends, man. Huh? Like you know. did four days ago, three days ago, two days ago, and today again. Oh. Listen, man. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, I promise you this will never happen again. All right? Come, come to me. Come to Baba. Oh, God, please, you're drunk. Very sure you don't know what you're saying. Uh, I might be drunk, but I know exactly what I want. And it is you. What did you just call me? Listen, don't you ever call me that again. Ever! I knew it. You knew what? I knew you said everything you said to me last night under the influence. I don't know what you're talking about. You lied to me. You lied that you loved me just because you wanted to have sex with me. Ouch. Such a sad story. Listen, I'm going to work. Are you not going to work? It's two hours away. Why the rush? You make this whole thing look like it's my fault. You make it look like we didn't come to an agreement. Listen, Abenis. It's not about the agreement. This whole chariot came to play because of what Mama wanted and not me. Go get ready for work. What's going on here? 
<laughs> Patrick, I am asking you, where did you get this cheap ball from? Hey, 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 hey. Don't let the angry woman spoil the moment. Alright? She's just a cute joy. Come here. Nothing. He, he's fine. I'm fine. I just have a kata. <laughs> I will just go check on him, Mama. Ben, this is bad. How long has this been happening? Since his mother traveled. It's either he doesn't come home at all, or he comes home with her. Did you confront him? Why would I do that? Come on, you should, okay? This is your marriage. You can't watch it shatter before your eyes. I have nothing to confront Patrick about. I know he's doing all this to spite me. And that's because he married me because of his mother. And you accepted it for your same selfish reason. Why are you complaining? Come on, take it easy. Stay out of this, Julius. I know she doesn't want me to throw her out of this house. So you advise her to mind her boundaries. Nonsense. Please don't mind me. I don't think she knows. The name starts. Okay, just calm down, okay? Everything will be fine, okay? <laughs> There's no line. Yes, hello. Patrick on the line. Who's this? What? My... My mom. Oh my god, mom. Oh. Oh, why, 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 mom, why? <laughs> I just watched my mother lower to the earth. She was everything I had. She meant the world to me. If she was everything you had, then what am I doing here? Okay, I know. It's painful. Baby, I am here for you. I love you and I will never leave your side. May I have a word with my husband in private? Are you, are you joking? We're all alone in this house. So if you have anything to say, just say it. Besides, he's your husband and he's my man too. And you are? Of course I do not know you. Now, can you leave so I can speak with my husband in private? Else what? Wait, 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 wait. Let me handle this. Are you taking her side? No, I'm not. But I've got to grant her audience. So please excuse us.
the burial ceremony is over. What's happening? Regards to what? You have wife, half girlfriend. You have no right to speak about her in that manner. Would you help me address her in a more proper way, please? What do you mean? The burial ceremony is over. In a more venal sense, she is supposed to move out or move in fully as a second wife. First wife. Excuse you. On the contrary, she has always been in the picture before mom forced you into my space. And I would not have you insult me because of that strange woman, Patrick. Bennett, you should better control yourself, all right? And accept the reality. Stop asking me when she's going to leave because she's never going to leave. Excuse me. Mad. Did you just throw my clothes to the ground? Hold on, what do you call clothes? This rags? Excuse me, did you just call my clothes rags? Yes, they are rags. Rags! I've been trying to be in my lane, but you keep getting in my space. See, if you talk to me anyhow, eh, I will give you the beating of your life. I will beat you anyhow here. You better watch it. Else what? What will you do? Now tell me, what will you do? What will you do? Yes! What's going on? What happened to you? Huh? <laughs> Babe, who did this to you? Go and ask your wife. What? <laughs> Venice did this to you? Venice! <laughs> Venice! She did something to break her head. <laughs> Venice, how dare you? How dare you lay your filthy hands on her? Are you going to just barge in here and ask me how dare me? I don't freaking care what she did. Why didn't you wait for me to come back? Wait for you to be done? Are you serious? The few times that you treated me like a dog where you were, what did you do? Listen, I did not do anything to her. She came at me and she fought me. She threw my clothes to the ground and she called them racks. Really? Yes, I had to defend myself. She came and fought you? Yes. 
Yet you got badly bruised, and you're not. Patrick, how that's turned out is not my fault. I had to defend myself for the very first time. Listen, Patrick. There's something else I want to tell you. Don't you ever touch me again. Don't try it. You know what? Pick all your belongings. Move them to the boys' quarters. That's where you'll be staying from now, henceforth. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, no, you, you think I'm joking, right? You're huh? asking me out of our matrimonial room because of your girlfriend. We don't do money. Listen, Patrick, if you do not respect me, if you do not respect the vows that you had on that altar, if you do not respect your mother, at least respect her spirit. That's what I'm begging you. Touch your filthy hand of me. Listen, I will not repeat myself again. Hi, babe. Sydney. Mm -hmm. What are you turning my mother's house into? Oh, come on, baby. Relax. I'm just trying to unwind. I'm, I'm tired. I'm stressed. And this is the best way to unwind? Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't like this. All right? Make this room habitable. What's all this? Oh, God. Why is he acting weird like he's on his period or something? I feel good. I'm just trying to smoke and relax. Come on. Isn't she the kind of woman you always wanted? Your spec. So just get used to it. Listen, I know I like my girls crazy and all of that. But not like this. Just stop complaining, okay? You said you didn't want any woman who is homely, wifey, and humble. So stop complaining. That's not exactly how I said it, bro. Not exactly how I said it. Well, God always grant us our heart desire. I think God granted you yours. Yes. And, and talk, you used to be a heavy smoker. What happened to you? People grow, bro. People grow. Oh, I see. You grew up. Yes. Then you need to give your wife a chance to grow up too. Man, this girl will never grow up. This girl suffocates me with smoke every time I come back from work. Especially when I come back earlier than the usual time. Then it's simple. Stop returning earlier than the usual time. It's simple. Yes. God. I'm so sorry. Yes, just give me five minutes and the job is ready. Yes, sir. The flyers and the logos, everything. Sorry, sir. I, I was thinking. I think it's high time we started putting your watermark on all your flyers and logos. And yes, the price tag too. Okay, sir. Just give me a few minutes and I will deliver. And God bless you. I saw the credit alert. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, come in. Oh, Dr. Annabelle. How are you? Oh, please have a seat. Thank you very much. Good. You were missed at the funeral. Oh, my dear. I'm so sorry. I would never have missed Mrs. Rachel's burial for anything. But I was away. I'm so sorry. So, how are you doing? Patrick now has another wife. And he decided that I stay here. Oh no, this is so mean of him. He doesn't even know that I'm seven weeks pregnant. You are pregnant? Oh. I found out the same day that he threw me out of the house. I felt a bit ill and I went to the hospital only to be told that I was six weeks pregnant. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, 
Where have you been since last night? You know I went to the club. You went to the club? Mm-hmm. So that you're not there. You know how much I detest the smell of cigarettes in this room. Oops. Is this relationship not enough reason for you to stop certain things? Alice acts like someone who's in a commitment. <laughs> Was that funny? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, what do you know about commitment? Are you committed to me? Because if you're committed to me, you should be able to allow some certain things to happen. Sydney, so why are you bent on making things so difficult for us? Ugh. Why? Hmm. I need to show her. What you were looking for? What are you doing with abortion pills? What? what you... Don't play dumb with me. What are you doing with abortion pills? And why are you going through my stuffs in the first place? Are you trying to tell me you've been? Yes, I've been using. I'm not ready to have babies with you. I've been using them. Wow. Wow yourself. And please don't go through my stuffs again. I came to know how you're faring. I am not dead. You haven't been to work for a while now. Why is that? I'm not scared of being sacked, if that says why you are here. No one is talking about being sacked here. All right? Meanwhile, Dr. Annabelle called. I knew it. I knew that you were not going to be here without the trigger. I sent a little token to your account for your upkeeps. God bless Dr. Annabelle, even though I didn't send her. All right, then do take care of yourself. I think he needs to know. Oh, no. No, please. Lots of food stops in the house. Why are you not making food? <laughs> Oops. 
Baby, you know I don't know how to cook. I don't like to cook. It stresses me out. I really don't know. It's just... Hold on, I need to test this egg. This is good. Baby, this is really... You need to make some more. Oh, I love that. Oh. Yeah, hold on, why, why are you so serious? It's just... Don't follow me. Why, why are you going to anyway? anyway? Sydney and I will be going to Ghana for the weekend. Congratulations. And please, take good care of yourselves when you get there. You didn't need to be that cynical. Was I? I was only being concerned. Well, we don't need your sarcasm. I hope you're good. Can you leave now, please? It's all right. Johnson! Johnson! Ah, what up? What up, what up? Very happy to see you. Uh, my problem now is say uh, this one when you come to stay here. I don't understand. It is well, Johnson. Okay. How was your father's burial? Ah, hey, don't finish now. Everything go away. Even village people say make a great all of now. Thank God. Thank God, ma. Um, Johnson, you are the only person who has seen me pregnant. My husband does not know about it, and he mustn't know through you. But I don't want to have a problem, bro. Uh, yeah, you don't date this house before you even come back from America, sir, so that will not be issue. Madam, see, for me, oh, you see that... What did you call her? Sydney, a girl. I, to me, I feel saying that she, they turn her head, and then they confuse her. I believe, say, one day, one day, in sense, go come back. In sense, don't work out now, go come back. So, no two reason now, eh? Everywhere good. You missed the funeral. Everybody was asking us. Hi. I'm a family. <laughs> uh, now, as they can't go fix my papa own and her own at the same time, now. I, I got to go for my people own. <laughs> hey, but madam, um, I carry something oh, uh, for you. Uh, I carry, carry. Hey. Not too much, <laughs> but yes, I did come, we can bring you up. So. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Um, uh. Johnson. Go. Yeah. Oh. Where is the business? What? Well, uh, I don't know. Baby, why don't you just drop it off with him and um, let's get going? Of course. Because we're late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. 
Give this to Benz. Tell her it's for okay. kid. All right? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Traveling. Okay, sir. Take care of the house. <laughs> I don't find the scene now. Everywhere, everywhere, they're okay. Everywhere, good. Um, is Benny's in? Ah. No, she know the. Well, she been there before she but she can't come out. Wait, she stays at the boys' quarter now. Ah, okay, no, no. I don't then the motor and go. I don't she stay now, but right now, she know the. She can't come out. Wow, well, I understand Patrick traveled to Ghana, but. Yeah, okay, now. Nah. You, you're supposed to know that. Nah, nah, you can't wait the time. Like, okay. <laughs> But at least be still show love. Give your guys. Love. You know what? Just, just give this to her when she returns. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, no wala. No wala. At least I don't say sports in Greenwich for us. All right. Take care of yourself. No problem. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, I got it. Johnson gave it to me. Thank you so much. Uh -uh. Your friend, he doesn't call me. Like, he doesn't care about me. He hasn't called since he traveled, and I'm not looking to that. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. Wait, oh. this one way oversized bomb bomb, no follow or come back. Ha. Hope say everything day okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know, I've always told you about Sydney. Come on, Sydney is not naive. A third year university girl you left in Nigeria to travel to the US. What do you expect? I'm not even surprised. You're not surprised? Why would I be? Julius, did you hear anything I told you in the car? I heard you loud and clear. You caught her sleeping with a senator in Ghana. That's what she does. Even in Nigeria, even in Ghana. And you did not advise me to stay off. <sighs> Come on, bro. I was looking out for you. Looking out for me? And then you advised me to keep her after I married Benz. Still looking out for you, bro. Julius. See, all that has taught you a sweet, bitter lesson. Don't be surprised she was even in Nigeria before you came in. I'm not sure she'll do a thing like that to me. You know, she has secret lovers all over the world. So tell me, what are you going to do now? Are you still interested in Benny's? That's not supposed to be the question here. It should be the other way around. Okay. Let me ask you again. Is Benny still interested in you?
Venice! Venice! Where the hell is Venice? She know the inside. Are you mad? I said, where the hell is she? Sir, she she the washcloth for the back. Venice. 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 Where the hell are the plans I give to you to work on? Regards to the textile company. It's not in my office. So where are they? It's in my room. Just hold on, I'll get it for you. You better hurry up. Hold on a second. Venice. What the hell is that bomb? You're pregnant! In my house, you've been cheating on me. Right? Venice, I'm talking to you. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Why would you keep an information as delicate as this away from me? Why? I took ill and decided to go to the hospital. And I was told I was more than seven weeks gone. That was the same day your Sydney fought me and threw my things on the ground. What did you do? You took sides with her and asked me to leave the main house and live here. How was I supposed to tell you that? I'm sorry about that. But it still boils down to the fact that you were pregnant. And you kept that away from me. Perhaps I... Oh, brother. I should have told you and played the anti-hero in this existentialist love strategy. Dear Patrick Chukwemeka, love knows no conditions. It knows no barriers. I am eight months gone. And just maybe, it doesn't matter. Please move away. Let me get your file for you. Excuse me. Now, please leave. Is there anything you need me to? It's all right. You know, I haven't had anything like this my entire life. But I don't mean to be rude. But this is a clear indication of uncare and negligence to that woman. Please leave her. I do not know where to start from. While I spoke to her, I sensed a damaged woman who was, who was long hungered for my love and affection. Not until suddenly she began to insulate herself. Even though I was alive and around, I was as much dead to her. Well, I, I think it's time to be intentional about Bernice. Oh yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I doubt she's going to give me that opportunity again. That's the problem. I, I don't know how to go about this, bro. Well, enough of this now. Let's, let me give you a drink. Hey, Bernice. Yes? How are you? Um, look what I got for you. No, thanks. Venice, listen. I know I hurt you, all right? I know I treated you bad. Trust me. I'm truly sorry. Oh, please. Do not flatter yourself. You have done nothing wrong to me. And if I felt offended, I would have left your house a long time ago. I'm glad you... you're not offended. Can you at least accept the stuff I got for you? Please. There are 1,001 persons that need this. Take it to them. I do not need it. Hook up, Ron's girl, you're here. Okay. Wow, Julius. Is that how you address me now? Wasn't that what you did in Ghana? And you just say that out loud, just like that. 
in when, public. Let me even ask you, do you have to go around sleeping like a dog with senators in Ghana, leaving your boyfriend in his hotel room? I know I messed up, okay? I messed up and that's why I'm here. Please, I need you to help me. It's already too late, okay? It is. Why would you say that? What do you mean? Let me even ask you. How do you think you got entwined with Patrick the first time? I was the link. I know he listens to you and that's why I'm here. I need you to help me. See, I misled him the first time. I'm not going to do that, okay? It's not going to happen again. What are you even saying? Why you, why you, why you? See, bye Sydney. I don't have time for all this. <clears throat> Julius, chill, just help me. <clears throat> Obviously. Can I at least get a minute of your time, please? No, you can't. I'm actually stepping out. Uh, okay, can I can I at least drop you? No, thanks. I already ordered a taxi. Would you like to lock up? Oh, I was actually on my way to the office. Of course. Can you start the ride, please? Hey, Bernice. Big belly, yeah? Stanley, did you change your name and your picture from the app? Oh, yes, I did. I am cancelling this ride right now. <laughs> Why would you even think about that? If I had an inkling that it was you... You would cancel the ride, right? Of course. I know already. But, um, Bernice, I am so happy to see you. And I am sorry for everything I did to you. What are you sorry for? Your sorry is actually very useless right now. Of course, I know. But it doesn't change the fact that I am happy for you. You're happy for me? What are you happy for? I'm happy that you're married. And you're very happy with it. You, you didn't deserve a man like myself who is a nag and unreasonable. Please forgive me. Please take me to my destination. As your majesty wishes. Um, Listen, I don't care if you nail with your head, okay? You have nothing to say to me. Patrick, baby, please, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. you cost me more harm. I know. I don't want to ever see you close to me again. Please, ever! Baby, please. Get out. Baby, wait, wait. Wait, let me explain. I said get out! Hey, this is not working. Baby, wait, let me, let me explain. Baby, baby, wait! Go! Oh, baby. Um, Patrick! Hi! Patrick! Um, Patrick, I'm sorry. Patrick, no! No, no, no! Patrick, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Baby, wait! Free Patrick! Patrick, Patrick! Patrick!
of certain things I could turn a blind eye to all the things she did to me. You don't know that girl called Sydney. What the hell did I get myself into, bro? Can't tell you, that girl is ready to stalk you till you take her back. You know, bro, I've been thinking. How the hell do you know a lot about this girl? Well, it's a long story. Tell me about it. Well, Cindy and I dated about two years while you were in America. Oh, shit. You're a prostitute, man. And let me tell you one thing again. She had about 17 abortions while dating you. What? Yeah. And how the hell did you find out? And you, how did you find yours, too? I've been in deep shit all this while. Damn. Damn. You don't want to marry my handsome son, right? But who wouldn't want to marry your son? So what's the problem? I just feel like he doesn't love me. At least not as a wife. Besides, he hasn't asked me out. So what have I been doing since? <laughs> no, honestly, if you marry my son, you will make me the happiest woman on earth. Now, this sounds like a flat to me because there's nothing special about me. My dear, nothing is as special as a mother knowing that her son is in safe hands. I don't know. Somehow, I just feel that this matchmaking someday will suffer a major rift when you know more. You're already planning my death? Uh, no, <laughs> no, God forbid. All that? right. Let's go. Okay, just go in there. Sit down, relax. I'll get you food ready. No, let's um let me help you. No, no, no. You want to steal my recipe. Alright. I want you. No, no, just go. You want to steal my recipe. <laughs> What's going on? Did you put Mama up to this? No. Mama put me up to this. And daughter will pretend you do not know what's going on. I don't understand. I am still trying to process the whole thing. Process what exactly? I know you talked Mama into doing this. Excuse you. Yes, I know. I see the way you look at me these days. And the things you do. You cook for me. You do my laundry. You clean my room. Well, I'll tell you this. All of that doctored this moment. Patrick, that woman in there means the world to me. And I would do just about anything to see her happy. Same here. As we both know, I'm not in support of this, but I just have to pretend. Same here. Patrick. What? Is this what you even want? Does it matter what I want? What's important right now is what Mama wants. So please excuse me. Listen, my child, let me tell you something. No man is worth making you feel less important, less a human being. But what if this man is all you have? No woman should be so glued to a man to the extent of her happiness and life depending on him. No, it's a no-no for me. Well, I need to see this man. I know I've treated you wrongly. No woman deserves to be treated the way I treated you. I've realized my wrongs, and right now I'm ready to make amends. That if you give me the opportunity to, 
I promise to make up for all the wrongs. If not for anything, for the sake of our child that you die. My mother was right when she chose you. Because you're the kind of woman I want in my life. It's unfortunate I didn't realize this on time, but right now I know better. Give me a chance to amend my wrongs. I appreciate your kind words. I will say that you are a good man, and every woman is lucky to have you. But unfortunately, there is no us. As I have made up my mind to leave this house first thing tomorrow morning. Don't be scared. I won't deprive your father would. I would not stop your child from getting her father's love. But you once said to me that I am not your speck. I do not fit in. I am not what you want. Obviously, this whole arrangement is what Mama wanted. Rest in peace to her. I have played my part. And now I want to move on. So thank you for being who you are and for allowing me in your space. I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. And God bless you. Friends, we can work things out. I do not want to work things out. I'm tired. Thank you. 